In today's video, I will show you my process after I finish a Facebook Live sale. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Corinne Duclosel. I am the owner of Corinne's Closet, which is an online resale boutique. I sell primarily designer and vintage fashion. On Facebook Live, I sell, of course, on my website and I also sell on Poshmark. So if you're looking for content that revolves around the resale business, maybe you're wanting to get into that business and need some tips, some tricks, some guidance, or maybe you love watching thrift haul videos, or maybe you're looking for an amazing um, fashion item. This is the channel for you. All right, so I just finished a Facebook Live sale. It was for 60 minutes, and I showed all of the pieces on this rack. I showed some shoes, some purses, and some belts. I use a system called Reply Sold. So what Reply Sold does, as my customers are shopping the live, they claim the items, Reply Sold sends the shopping cart to the person's Facebook Messenger. So they're able to check out during the live or after the live sale. So I don't have to send a manual invoice to the customer. So that's one of the big things that I love about Reply Sold is that I don't have to manually send an invoice. It sends it automatically to the first person that bids and wins the item. But what I like to do after the live is just to see, you know, what my, um, if I met my sales goal, and I'll also get to see what items need to be shipped out and if I need to follow up with any of my customers, because sometimes I still have to follow up with them if they have any questions, if they want to see the item again, I may send them pictures. So I spend about an hour after the live doing a lot of follow-up. So that is what I'm doing tonight and I wanted you to see the process. Okay, so I'm giving you like a behind the scenes look at Reply Sold. So what this shows me is um, the number of items that I sold. So I sold 25 items. What's in orange is my sales for those items. So it's $828.75. That is outstanding, meaning that those customers have not paid their carts. And where it's in green, I have two items that have been paid for that were a total of $38. So it does show um, the customers, their names, and it shows all the items that were sold. So all that I need to do, um, it shows me who has checked out already. Okay. So all that I need to do now is just to go through and follow up with the customers just to remind them about checking out um, so that way I can get those items shipped to them. So now that I know what items sold, I will go through the rack and pull those items so that way they can be ready for shipping. I try to do shipping at least two business days after the live is complete. I do ask my shoppers to pay their invoices by 2 p.m. the following day after my live sale. My live sale was at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that gives them, you know, at least tomorrow after, you know, maybe during their lunch break or what have you, or um, when they have some time to check their messages and make the payments. So let's take a look at what sold. Um, I sold 25 items. So in a live sale, you do want to have at least 100 to 120 items to show within the 60 minutes. I try to show about two items per minute. 
doesn't always happen because I love talking about my items, but I do try my best to show it quickly so I can move on to the next item. I also try to have varying, varying price ranges because you never know who's showing up on the live sale. You know, there is a stigma that the Facebook Live, the items have to be really cheap for it to sell. I totally disagree with that. I, in my opinion, and based on the fact that I, I started this um, resale Facebook Live, um, in my opinion, if you show the items that are geared towards your brand, your customers know what to expect. So if you start off your resale journey or your resale business selling lower price items, that's all you'll be known as. So you want to make sure you have varying price ranges so you get customers with different budgets who shop your live. You don't want to be known as she has cheap stuff or he has cheap stuff. You want to be known more for the quality or the types of items that you sell and hey if you want to be to have the lower priced items if that's your niche or if that's the audience that you are wanting then by all means right there is walmart there's target there's macy's and their higher end stores so you just decide which um, brand or which store type that you want to be i have placed myself um with a mid-range high, you know, I have really expensive price points for those designer brands, those vintage brands, but I do have prices that are competitive. My lowest price when the item is on sale is about $12. And that is if I've marked the item down. Um, typically my starting price is about $15, $15 and up um, is what my price points are. So let's take a look at what's sold and I'll also give you the price point for that item. Um, typically when I do a live sale, I do offer a 25% discount. Again, because the customer is taking time out of their schedule to sit on a live video for an hour. So I like to give them a little incentive for doing that, okay? All right, so I have a customer that ordered one, two, three, four, five, six items from my live, which, yay. So when I am showing the items, if I show the item I, and I put it back on the rack, I turn, I, I change the position of the hanger. So for example, when I start off, all of my hangers are facing the rack. Okay, and after I show it, I turn the hanger and I put it back so it's facing me, if that makes sense. So that way I know what items I showed and which items I did not get a chance to show. So it just makes it easier when I am pulling items for the live. Okay, so this customer purchased the St. John. This is a St. John knit dress. It was on sale for $56.25, which is a really good price for a St. John um, dress. Okay. She purchased the Ole Kasani. So this is an Oleg Kasani sequin blouse. This was on sale for $30. So she purchased this for $30. The next item, black sheer beaded blouse. Oh yes, that one was gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This one was on sale for $37.50. At $37.50. Oh, this leather jacket was everything. This brown leather jacket with the gold buttons. This was on sale for $33.75. Ooh, 
another gorgeous piece, the Alex Kim beaded and sequin jacket. This was on sale for $33.75. And then the belts, this black belt. This was on sale for $11.25. Okay, a nice wide belt. So what I do is, this customer, all of her items, we'll put the belt right here. So I know that all of these pieces will go into one box for, for a customer. Okay, my next customer, okay, so she ordered this beautiful vintage blouse. Oh, it's getting caught in the... Okay. Oh, I love the colors. Ah! Great taste. So this was on sale for $22.50. $22.50. So I have... I also sell mystery boxes. So that's where the customer... Um, pays. It's on sale for $22.50. And they get three items in their box of my choosing based on the size that they want. So I have a mystery box of a size 1X and a mystery box of a size extra large. So I have to get three pieces for that. Okay, so let's move along. Okay, my next customer ordered this sequin dress. And this one was on sale for $56.25, $56.25. And she also ordered the other black and gold sequin set. Oops, where's the skirt? Oh, I have the skirt on my, on my chair. Okay. So this is the top and then it has the matching skirts. So this was on sale for $37.50 because the skirt does need to be repaired. Well, an elastic needs to be put into the waist. So I kind of factored that in to the price point. All right, so these two are for that customer. All right. My most favorite item finally has a new home. This Veronica beard, jacket, sold for $2.25, which is a seal. This jacket is regularly $6.95, $6.95. So it did, um, it was claimed during the live. So this was $2.25. Okay, I have another mystery box, size large. Okay, Express. Okay, so I sold two belts. This um, gingham stretchy vintage belt is sold for $11.25. And then this express belt, nice suede and leather. This also sold for $11.25. So these two are for that one customer. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay. Denim jumpsuit. This is a denim jumpsuit. I love the back, the open back with those um, gold chains. And it is tied in the front. And it has like the jogger style bottoms. So this one sold for $22.50. Okay, my next customer bought three pairs of shoes. These Baglinishka size eight. These are these were on sale for twenty two fifty. These hot pink over the knee boots. These were on sale for eighteen seventy five. These need a little bit of cleaning, so that's why they were marked for that price. And then these boots also sold to that same customer. She loves bling, she loves boots, right? 
Absolutely. All right. Okay, so that's for that one customer there. And then another mystery box, a size 2X. Another mystery box, size 1X. Okay. Karen Millen jacket. So this sold for $33.75. And this customer also bought a mystery box. Gianni Beanie Glitter Pumps. So these sold to another customer for $15. And then I sold another mystery box. Okay. So I spent an hour showing, I probably showed about, I would say 100 items. And I sold 25 of those items. But because the price points were really good, um, again, if everyone pays, I would have made eight, about eight sixty in sales. Eight sixty, which is um, my sales goal is always about six hundred dollars. I like to think within sixty minutes I should be able to make at least six hundred dollars. That's always my sales goal. So I'm happy. Um, so I'm going to get ready now to send out a few emails and then be ready to ship tomorrow. All right. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the content in this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, so you know, when I go live, when I upload new videos or if I am posting in the community tab until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. You gotta dress up for the club